Okay, so our dough has been resting in the refrigerator and we wrapped it in some parchment paper. And like I said, you can wrap in parchment or in plastic wrap, it's up to you, whatever you prefer. So it's really important to flour your work surface. So I have a little bit of flour in my bowl here and I'm just gonna kind of flick my wrist which will evenly coat my work surface. So you can see here, we've got these amazing chunks of butter in our dough, and this is what's gonna give us the flaky texture that we're just craving and looking for. So I'm gonna put this on my work surface, give it a little turn and get some flour into it. Then I'm gonna add a little flour over the top. Now, our dough is very well hydrated right now because it's been resting overnight. If this had only rested for about 30 to 40 minutes, I'd be very concerned about introducing more flour into this. Um, but because it's rested and it's really absorbed the maximum amount of moisture, I'm not so concerned about adding too much more flour to it. It's not going to change the texture. little more flour. Two, roll your dough out. You want to start in the middle, roll out, and then give a quarter turn. Okay, start in the middle, roll out, and give a quarter turn. Now if you notice that your dough begins to crack a little bit, it's probably because it's still just a little too cold and it's fighting with you. So just give it a rest on the, on the counter or your work surface for a couple minutes, come back to it and see how it's reacting. And if this technique doesn't really work for you, you know, turning it every quarter, you can definitely do it up and back. You just have to be really careful about not rolling the edges too finely and make sure that it's a few inches larger than your pie plate. And that way it will have enough to come up the sides of the pie plate. Okay, so we're still rolling this out. If it's not a perfect circle, it's perfectly fine. I can feel this is sticking. My dough is getting a little too warm right now. So I'm going to pop this into the freezer for a couple minutes. I'm going to put it on a baking sheet, pop it in the freezer, and let it cool down. That way my butter will still stay nice and cold and solid. Part of the reason this is starting to stick to my work surface is because the butter has come to room temperature in some spots and it's sticking to the table.